Crypto Pirates Daily News January 26, 2022 News Headlines Twitter Crypto Team to Investigate NFTs, Web3 and Metaverse As Crypto Tanks, High-End PC Graphics Cards Get Cheaper Coinbase proposes easy crypto tax filing. Decentraland Metaverse land sold for $21,097, 9,999 mana. Fish Crypto has released version 1.0.0 of their game. What is Sand? Sandbox, Crypto. Indonesia bans crypto payments by financial firms. Musk challenges McDonald's to accept his favorite cryptocurrency. The Biden administration plans crypto regulation. The Russian finance ministry opposes a total crypto ban. Twitter crypto team to investigate NFTs, Web3 and Metaverse. With the new team, Twitter hopes to bring crypto and the metaverse to a broader audience. As the world of crypto has evolved exponentially, social media has become the major hub for all crypto-related discourse. The DeFi and NFT boom eventually drew global notice, with more big corporations looking to put their toes in. Twitter has now joined them. Tweeting in Crypto Tess Reinerson, the company's crypto engineering head, tweeted about a job position amid claims the social media hub was aiming to cash in on the burgeoning Bitcoin frenzy. So he says. Moreover, Twitter's job advertising on their official website stated. We assist teams across Twitter build things that are powered by crypto, while also thinking long term about explorations in community, identity, and more. Candidate must be knowledgeable with blockchain interoperability protocols, blockchain scaling protocols, peer-to-peer systems, Byzantine fault-tolerant distributed systems, or Web3 primitives to qualify, like NFTs and DAOs. To stay up with the emerging developments, the work also requires an open mind towards crypto. Twitter isn't the first to advertise a crypto-related job opening. Senior partner manager, fintech and audio creators also needed. Assemble and cultivate ties with top creators in the fintech and social audio spaces. Another product communications manager is the main calms point of contact for Twitter teams, including Twitter Crypto. NFT Dabble on Twitter Twitter has introduced NFT profile images, the first public acknowledgement of the expanding crypto, NFT, and metaverse community on its network. Users could display their genuine NFTs in a hexagonal frame. Despite mixed reviews, the move allowed Facebook to explore the future of crypto and blockchain technology. Twitter may have tapped into the metaverse at the appropriate time to establish itself as a leader in this race. As crypto tanks, high-end PC graphics cards get cheaper. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 graphics card you need for your extreme gaming PC build is still scarce but growing cheaper. Bitcoin and other blockchain currencies have plummeted in value, leading some analysts to predict a new crypto winter. Those who want to play Starfield on high settings later this year should avoid the server farms. According to CNBC, Bitcoin and Ethereum are both down roughly 50% from recent highs. The shift is already appearing as small price movement in the supply-constrained world of PC gaming. Prices of most popular models have started to fall from their peak a month ago, 
according to Tom's hardware. Prices have fallen by double digits in several cases. A 4.5% discount on an RTX 3080 t may not sound like much, but given the card's starting prices, that amounts to over US$100 less than a month ago. RTX 3080 10GB cards dropped from US$1,804 to US$1,595. It is expected that NVIDIA GPU supply will improve in the second half of 2020 but that overall shortages and consequently high costs would likely endure into 2023. Recent crypto mining booms have fueled inflated demand. During the pandemic, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and other assets skyrocketed, resulting in a bonanza for those with the processing power to serve the blockchain. However, the tide appears to be turning in favor of inexpensive graphics cards in crypto. Last month, Fed Chair Jerome Powell hinted at rate hikes. Meme stocks like GameStop and AMC are also collapsing. Hopefully, more affordable PC gaming doesn't mean another recession. Coinbase proposes easy crypto tax filing. All taxable Bitcoin activity is summarized here. Coinbase wants to help consumers with their 2021 taxes. It claimed in a blog post that a new area in its app and website will assist clients report capital gains and losses to the IRS. An accountant or tax software can use a tailored summary of taxable activity. Customers will be able to examine all of their taxable activities in one place. If customers used Coinbase Pro or external wallets to transmit or receive crypto, they can get free tax reports for up to 3,000 transactions from our crypto tax partner Coin Tracker. Coinbase's Lucy Aziz blogged about it. The year's most difficult time just became clearer. Aziz noted that previous year, consumers had to investigate which transactions were taxable, then manually track and sort them to compute their gains or losses. The new tax center streamlines the process by displaying taxable activity over time as realized gains and losses. The company also promised instructions and tutorials on how to handle taxes on Bitcoin and other digital assets like NFTs in the coming weeks. The IRS defines crypto transactions broadly, including selling cryptocurrencies for cash, exchanging virtual currencies, and paying with crypto debit cards. Tokens received via airdrops or payments made in cryptocurrency must also be reported as income. Cryptocurrency market expanded from $1.44 billion in 2020 to $1.63 billion in 2021. Experts anticipate that by 2025, 90% of the world's population will be using cryptocurrencies. Crypto adoption will undoubtedly lead to more Americans paying crypto taxes. According to a recent Voyager digital survey, 61% of Americans plan to buy crypto this year, for which they will be taxed. Decentraland Metaverse land sold for $21,097.9999 mana. So what? 4.2 Ethereum ETH, $21,097 is 2.02x the current floor price of virtual land tokenized as an NFT. The collection includes around 97,000 land plots. At the present, each plot land portions are 16 meters by 16 meters, 52 FT2. As more investors become aware of the metaverse, the value of land in Decentraland and the sandbox has risen. Virtual land usually sells at a premium due to its size and proximity to the metaverse's hub. The largest open-world metaverses on Ethereum's blockchain are Decentraland Mana and the Sandbox Land plus 3.29% plus free alerts. The blockchain-based metaverses are where firms like Adidas Adi minus 2.88% plus free alerts and Atari Pomp have bought virtual territory. 
The phrase metaverse describes the progression of human-computer interaction. The gap between our real life and online identities is closing as we spend more time online. The metaverse will eventually be an immersive virtual world where people can own digital assets and engage with peers. Investors started paying attention to platforms that are constructing metaverses after Facebook FP-2.77% rebranded as Meta. Because smart contract blockchains ensure digital asset ownership, they are critical to the metaverse's development. Fish Crypto has released version 1.0.0 of their game. Players can earn NFTs through fishing rods, fish, or lakes in the game, designed by Binance Smart Chain. Rare, one-of-a-kind items that appreciate in value over time. Fish Crypto 1.0.0 was released yesterday, and you can now play it. This app also allows users to borrow fishing rods from friends and earn cryptocurrency. To celebrate its one anniversary, Roadmap announced its inclusion in PancakeSwap and ELO Launchpad on January 15th. Fish Crypto recently announced a partnership with Hacken. This caused a 33% drop in the price of Fish Crypto to $0.006054. Its 24-hour low and high is $0.005321 and $0.009329, respectively. Market cap is $1,811,314.73, trading volume is $2,457,447.38. What is Sand, Sandbox, Crypto? The Sandbox, S-A-N-D, crypto coin gained popularity on Tuesday, increasing over 13% in 24-hour trading volume. What is Sand Crypto? Sandbox is a blockchain-based virtual environment where players may create, build, and trade digital goods. Pixel Incorporated introduced the token in 2011. Its decentralized platform combines the power of DAOs and non-fungible tokens, NFT, for hassle-free gaming. According to its white paper, it wants to mainstream the technology. It offers a creative play to earn paradigm that allows users to both design and play games. The platform's SAND utility token powers transactions. Because SAND is an ERC-20 token, its holders can stake and collect staking rewards. Pixel's Arthur Madrid co-founded Sandbox. The total supply of the token is 3 billion. 922.23 million coins are currently in circulation. It can be traded on Binance, Uniswap, V2, and Ela token. Price and performance of SAND token. On January 25th, at 7.42 AM ET, SAND was trading at $3.02, up 12.11%. Its market cap is 2.78 billion US dollars and fully diluted is 9.04 billion US dollars. Its trading volume increased 13.80% in the last 24 hours to 871.23 million US dollars. In the previous 52 weeks, the SAND token has traded between $8.44 and $0.07633. On November 25, 2021, it hit an all-time high of $8.44 bottom line. In the last year, the SAND token has gained roughly 3,121%. However, the cryptocurrency market has recently been tumultuous. 
Bitcoin and Ethereum prices have fallen sharply in recent weeks. Investors should therefore thoroughly assess the market before purchasing digital assets. Indonesia bans crypto payments by financial firms. As reported by Reuters, Indonesia's Financial Services Authority, OJK, has reminded financial firms that they cannot promote or enable crypto-related marketing activities. Subscribe to our Telegram channel for the latest blockchain and crypto news. OJK warns of Ponzi scheme scams in crypto investments but does not specify what punishment will be enforced on enterprises that break the rules. However, the Commodity Futures Trading Regulatory Agency CFTRA, does not completely outlaw cryptocurrency trading. In June 2021, Bank Indonesia outlawed the use of cryptocurrencies as legal cash or other financial services instruments by Indonesian a legitimate payment mechanism, according to the bank's governor, Perry Wargio is a debit card. It would also form field supervisors to ensure financial institutions follow rules. Musk challenges McDonald's to accept his favorite cryptocurrency. Eat a happy meal on TV if chain takes Dogecoin. Earlier this week, the world's most renowned fast food company reached out to the Bitcoin community. If a MC Donald's accepts Dogecoin, I will eat a happy meal on TV. Others, echoing McDonald's tagline, stated they were loving it and seconded Musk's advice to the fast food business. If a MC Donald's adopts hashtag Dogecoin, I will eat the TV. Working at McDonald's is also a long-running joke in the crypto community, where participants joke about having to acquire a job when their coins' value plummets. On Monday, as most coins' values fell along with market prices, the company's Twitter account inquired, how are you doing individuals that manage crypto Twitter accounts? Musk used that post as inspiration for urging the fast food behemoth accept Dogecoin, a cryptocurrency parody that was relatively unknown before Musk hyped it up. Tesla, his electric car firm, accepts it for some products while eschewing the more popular Bitcoin, which was briefly accepted last year but has since been discontinued. According to CoinMarketCap, Dogecoin's price rose 8% after Musk's tweet, though the euphoria has since subsided. Meanwhile, McDonald's is considering Musk's payment advice. An official chain response thanked the billionaire for his interest and said they continuously evaluate payments experience. Biden administration plans crypto regulation. According to sources, the Biden administration will present a crypto regulatory proposal next month. It is believed that Congress will introduce legislation to govern the rapidly expanding digital asset market. According to Yahoo Finance, a National Security Council document would ask federal agencies to analyze the risk of crypto and provide input on the feasibility of a central bank digital currency, CBDC, or digital dollar. The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, are both positioned to oversee crypto, but their responsibilities are not immediately evident. SEC Chairman Gary Gensler has long expressed worry that unregulated crypto exchanges expose customers to fraud or unknowledgeable investments. Regulators may need to go it alone if elected officials cannot rapidly agree on what rules to implement. For years, the digital asset industry has desired its own set of laws to increase participant confidence. Today, crypto assets are considered as stocks, currency, and utility, or all of the previously mentioned. In recent weeks, 
Prominent cryptocurrencies have tanked as market instability and rising inflation hit several asset classes. A light-touch regulatory strategy for crypto that recognizes the benefits of digital assets should be seen positively for the sector. The Russian finance ministry opposes a total crypto ban. This ministry appears to be interested in possible tax collection from cryptocurrency merchants and miners. While the Russian central bank wants to outlaw crypto mining, the Russian Ministry of Finance appears more open to it. Russia's crypto industry has a future. Russian finance minister Ivan Kepeskov announced during the RBC crypto conference that he opposed a crypto ban in Russia. He stated that the Ministry of Finance is actively involved in developing the legal framework for crypto regulation. Kepeskov claims that regulation will protect Russian citizens. Anatoly Aksakov, chairman of the Russian Duma's Financial Markets Committee, suggested cryptocurrencies might be authorized under the Bill on Experimental Legal Regimes. What's next for the Russian crypto industry? The Russian finance ministry is infamous for its insatiable appetite for new revenue streams. In this context, it is not surprised that it wants to regulate the crypto business to tax crypto miners and investors in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other currency. The ongoing Russian debate had no impact on the global crypto markets, which were still influenced by riskier asset sentiment. However, Recent regulatory tendencies are concerning. If the crypto business is not completely banned in Russia, it may receive more backing. This will demonstrate that even governments that once appeared unfriendly to the business may eventually adopt cryptocurrency. Traders should not expect a rapid conclusion. Negotiations between the Russian Central Bank and the Russian Ministry of Finance are likely to last months. We hope you enjoyed watching and listening to this video, please let us know your opinion in the comments area below. If you found our content useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more crypto related contents.